Hey everybody, it is time to learn some more about weather and climate. So right now I need you to make sure that you have out your weather log because we are going to do that and it's part of your independent work today. So please make sure you have out your weather log because at the end of this lesson we're going to work on it. Okay, so Today, we are going to talk about air masses. Okay, so an air mass is a very large body of air that has about the same temperature, air pressure, and moisture. These air masses can be warm or they can be cold, and they're normally moist or they're dry. So warm masses, um, use, warm air masses, sorry, usually form near warm places and cold air masses usually form near cold places and they typically form over the oceans and dry air masses typically form over land. So think if it's a warm place, it's going to be a warm air mass. If it's a cold place, it's going to be a cold air mass. And if it's moist, it's going to form over an ocean because there's water. And if it's dry, it's going to form over land because there's no water. Um, most changes in weather happen when the air mass moves into a place and pushes out another. So think of it as um, you can't really see an air mass, but if you've ever heard of a... Um, cold front or a warm front on the news when a cold front they'll push that air mass out and it becomes cold or a warm front it will push the cold um cold air mass out and the warm air masses here so that we have a um a warmer temperature so the place where two air masses meet is called a front. Weather can change suddenly when a front moves across an area. And we see that all the time in Texas where like sometimes it gets like cold out of nowhere or it gets warm out of nowhere. And many storms and per precipitation take place along these fronts. So um, that happens a lot. That's what an air mass is, is when we have a warm front. A warm air mass can replace a cold air mass, and then it gets warm here. In Texas, our weather is absolutely crazy, and you guys should know that because some days it'll be 70, and then that next week it's snowing. That has happened to us so many times. Um, some places in Texas this past um, Sunday got like four, five, six inches of snow. We didn't get any, but um, it was warm that past week. So it's just crazy to think how warm and cold air masses, they replace each other like that. So let's take a look. So let's take a look at our weather log for the week. We did yesterday, which was Tuesday. Um, in Azel, our temperature was 55. It was cold and cloudy on Tuesday. And um, we should wear boots or maybe a jacket. And the, our prediction was that today it's going to be cold. Well, let me tell you, when I woke up this morning, it was pretty cold because remember, I record these a day in advance. It was pretty cold. So I'm thinking tomorrow is going to be pretty cold too. But let's see. So on your second box, you're going to put Wednesday 113. So I'm not going to make you rewrite all of these words. You can if you want to make it look nice and neat, but you don't have to. So we're still going to record our weather in Azel. And let's go check what the weather is going to be like. Remember, I do my videos a day in advance. So it looks like Wednesday. Oops. Let me turn my brightness down. It looks like Wednesday is going to be about 62 with a low of 42. Today's real cold. Look at that. But 62. So I'm going to put 62 degrees because that's our temperature. And then I want you to write down lines right here. So if you've been outside, if you haven't, you might want to step outside. I want you on these lines to describe, um, I'm just going to put an arrow, describe today's weather. So I'm going to describe today's weather and I want you to describe however you want. So I'm going to say cold again. Oh, whoops. I'm going to say today is cold and sunny. So however you think it is today, I want you to write how you think today's weather is. Then I want you down here, we're gonna do the same thing again. You don't have to rewrite these words. I'm going to down here. 
I am, this is the part that is your independent work. Um, I did all of these with you. I want you to, right here. I want you to write what kind of clothing should you wear today? Should you wear a jacket? Should you wear shorts? Based on the weather, what kind of clothing would you wear? And then I want you to make a prediction of how the weather is going to be tomorrow. Do you think it's going to be warmer tomorrow? Do you think it's going to be colder tomorrow? Do you think it's going to be sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy? Whatever you think it's going to be, I want you to write your prediction just like we did on Tuesday for Thursday. Okay, when you finish what clothing you should wear today and what your prediction is, I want you to take a picture of your weather log. Your Tuesday should be completely filled out and your Wednesday should be completely filled out. Thursday and Friday should be blank. Take a picture of this and turn it in because I want to make sure everybody is doing a weather log. So anyway, take a picture of your weather log for Wednesday and turn it in. All right, guys. Love you all so much. Have a great day.